Perlin noise is undoubtedly the most popular noise algorithm. This is because it is able to create smooth and natural looking noise while being easier to understand than similar algorithms like simplex noise. Perlin noise is used by virtually all 3D designers to create textures, height maps, animations, and so much more. But how does Perlin noise work? Let's get into the algorithm. The Perlin noise function gets the x and y coordinates and outputs the value of the noise. To explain the algorithm, let's set the coordinates to 0.3 and 0.4. Anyways, it starts by generating a simple grid of points. Each of these points are then assigned a vector, pointing at a random direction from 0 to 360 degrees. Let's focus on just four points in the grid, with coordinates of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now, let's give the vector of the point 0, 0 a direction of 60 degrees, the one on 0 0.1, 150 degrees, the one on 1, 0, 45 degrees, and the one on 1, 1, 240 degrees. So, there would be a line starting on 0, 0, pointing at 60 degrees. Now, let's draw the point with coordinates x equals 0 0.3 and y equals 0 0.4. To find the final noise value, we must calculate dot products for all four points that make up the square of our point inside. From our point, draw a vector pointing left and a vector pointing down. Now we must find the dot products of both the horizontal and vertical vectors. Let's start with the horizontal one. To make it easier, let's translate the vector so they both touch. The dot product formula is a cos theta, where a is the magnitude of the horizontal line and theta is the angle of the other vector. So, negative 0.3 times cosine 60 is negative 0.15. Now, let's find the dot product of the vertical line. Instead of doing cosine, we now must do sine, because the vertical vector is 90 degrees offset. So, negative 0.4 times sine 60 is negative 0.346. Finally, we add the negative 0.15 and negative 0.346 to get negative 0.496. Now, let's do point 0.11 as an example. Because the randomly pointing vector for 1,1 1, 1 is 240 degrees, 0 0.7 times cosine 240 plus 0 0.6 times sine 240 is negative 0.87. Finally, the points 0, 01 and 10 0 would be 0 0.56 and 0 0.212 respectively. Next, we must linearly interpolate the four values. Because our point is 30% of the way on the horizontal axis, we can combine the top two numbers and the bottom two numbers into two numbers using the linear interpolation formula. This is 1 minus percent times number 1 plus percent times number 2. Now we will get 0.265 for the top number and negative 0.35 for the bottom number. Finally, we can linearly interpolate the numbers to get negative 0.138. Now, if we repeat this for every other point in the square, we will get something like this. A nice, smooth gradient. But our grid currently only has 4 points. If we expand this grid to, let's say, 10 by 10, that's when things really start looking like Perlin noise. Well, how do we get the cool plasma animation that is often associated with Perlin noise? Simple. We just need to make the vector angles change at a constant rate. The easiest way to do this is to increment them by 1 every frame. And to add octaves to the noise, simply increase the size of the grid, repeat the algorithm again, and add the result to the original number. This way, you are basically adding another, smaller layer of Perlin noise onto the original map. I hope you now have a better understanding of how Perlin noise is generated and how the algorithm works. See you in the next one. Bye.